Hello, John here, also known as Venonator, and welcome back to the off-season event number four. And this is round number two. So round number one was the best round I've ever played on the TTC Tours in terms of scoring. I got 16 under. It's a par three course, but it's very much designed for scoring. I got three or four holding ones, I think it's three. Which is very rare for the channel for me to get a hold of one at all. Clearly, it was the course that made it very easy. <laughs> but wow, I enjoyed playing that first round. So yeah, looking forward to the second one. I don't think the pin placement makes this anywhere near as easy. I think the scores are going to change quite dramatically. But we're going to play, obviously, and we're just going to have some fun and see how we get on with the second round. So we've got black tees, pin set two. We've got medium wind, so we've actually got some wind here now. Very soft fairways, very soft green. So they're the opposites of what they were before. And the green speed is moderate. So this is going to be interesting. Par threes, I do not actually tend to play well on par threes most of the time. I Yeah, I find it you have to be very precise with your shots a lot of the time. Not necessarily on this course so far, but as I say, with the pin placements being in different places, it might well be the case that it's suddenly a real challenge, this. Right, so it's giving me a pitch shot to start with, which I've basically took off straight away. Ooh, the wind's making this a tricky one straight away. It's a decent starting shot, although there's a hill there. Oh no, stop there. Let's see how you do here. They are we soft greens. Long putt ahead of us. A nice straight putt path. Ah, no. That'll be close enough for me to get a pass. See, so this is already clearly a very different round. And there we go. We've got a par. But now this is a bit more of a challenge. And yeah, happy with that beginning. That's pretty good. And 16 at the moment. 16 under with a par on the first hole of the second round. Not complaining. Is picking up, blowing left to right on this one. 48 feet and the pin is at the front of this green. So we're looking at 16 feet down. And what are we on? 185. Uh, let's see. So it's 169, which is this. But the wind's pulling it as well. Okay, well, let's go for it. That swing was to die for. So I accidentally hit it to the right, which means the wind's picked well, it, it up there the as well. Here's our second shot on hole number two. A very wonky hit, um, chip. Here we go. Drop this and save that par. Looking pretty good. Pretty good putt, actually. Nice straight. In there, in there yeah, happy enough with that. So that's two pars in a row. Under after that Such hole. a change in feel to the course from round one to round two. But yeah, yeah, that first round was really good. Three. Great way to get some hole in ones if you haven't got them yet, or if you if you just want some. Okay, that's a decent shot. The wind I'm hoping will pulled it onto the green at least and it hasn't wow gonna miss the green unfortunate I'm surprised the the wind didn't do more that really okay par putt coming up maybe it's going to have to look into is how to make the wind sort of well, that, how the wind affects the ball because i thought that would have done more for that but that's fine and after that hole, you sit this is where my sort par. of limited calculations that i do that make quite a difference when it comes to par threes I don't have that one, uh, extra shot or two to really ahead of us. Like, recuperate if I do something wrong. Okay, so right, I'm gonna. I think this is about right, actually. This seven iron. Someone's gonna need to bite. Oh, it's a bit too far, actually. Well, you can't hit them all. Here's your second shot on the fourth. As it gets close, but this is a very par heavy round. Okay, we could save par here with this putt. Decent putt. putt. Okay, so it's pars everywhere at the moment. And yeah, they couldn't have made the settings more different, really, for the second round. Soft green, so they just stop Not bouncing around anywhere near as much as the first round. Wind is blowing left to right. And yeah, very slow as well, obviously. 
So what's this going to be? So this is about 17 or something. So looking at 190 is here. 10 mile an hour. How much of a difference is 10 mile an hour going to do here? Oh dear. I did hit the swing path well, that way, but that really went. Green. Sometimes I don't compensate enough for the wind, and sometimes I compensate too much for the wind. Feet. It's getting there. Good putt, though. And that's your putt. Good putt to finish that. Okay, so pars all round wow, so far. 16 under after that hole. But yeah, 16 under. Great, um, great score to have at this point. I have no idea how everyone else is going to do. I'm guessing the last round as well. It's probably going to be that hole in one crazy round again. This is going to be 19 down, so we're looking at 140, 130. Yeah, 139 or something. 138 there. And I don't know how much the wind affects a gap wedge. It doesn't really seem to affect it much at all. I mean, I miss hit that. Ah, don't know what that was. Just a little off on that approach. And here's our second shot on the sixth. Looking like a good shot. Ah. Well judged on that one. A bit unfortunate that was not that good hole, enough for it there. It was very close. Under par. Okay, so this is very par heavy, as I say. So we might end up with par at the end of this. Who knows? Or, to be honest, I'm not sure. But we could get a bogey on one of these holes and then struggle to get a birdie. Or we could go the other way around. I could get like one or two birdies and then that would be enough. Okay, so we're looking at 11 down, so 189 which is this, the wind will pull it to the left and down a little bit, of course. Hit it fast. Wow, that left. went miles that way. The Played wind really picked that one, up. That's okay. Right, am I actually going Second to get to your flop shot? I haven't done one of those in these rounds so far. Do you know the channel already you'll know i like my flop shots and that's why because that was great again here we go tapper on in there you go i'm in for another par and after that one so yeah happy that went so well that was a really good flop shot actually and through seven we're on even par got a headwind blowing in our face on this one okay so this is what's that 12 almost 13 down so 104, uh, sorry, 120, and then 118 or so overall. So 118. With the wind, will the sand wedge be the right club here? Maybe. Only 97%. Annoyingly, I needed that to be that little bit more. That's okay. Don't worry That's about it. We'll be on the green eventually. And from the green side, sand. Looking for an up and down here. It's a horrible bunker. Good oh, shot, though. Yes. So okay, we're getting pars, but we're hitting some up. good shots, just not the first one. Wow, the tee shot is under. what we're not doing very well on, which, when it comes to par threes, is vital to get any score whatsoever. So yeah, dropping down the leaderboard quite rapidly at this point. Stick it nice and close to the pin. Okay. So we're looking at between eight and nine. Probably nine, really. Okay. So, 192. This is close enough. It's a good shot. The 102% is a bit to too right. much. No. Right, time to get Again, out of the Let's do this. sometimes I really... I'm shocked how much the wind does make a difference. Because other times it just seems to do absolutely nothing. Ooh, it's like that really that took off like to the right, considering... Nice. Actually hit that left, and it still went way too far right. Look at that for a front nine. 27, or 27, all par threes, all pars. Under par. But yeah, 16 under just because of the first round. I mean, so let's be honest, it's an exhibition table. event. I'm not at all concerned about the score, if I'm honest. If I, yeah, I'm going to be truthful, I, I really wouldn't. Mind what score I end up with. Nice swing on to that. Really enjoyed that first round. I'm looking forward to the main event We're starting again, which I believe is well next done. week. So this one for the birdie. That's going to be exciting. 
Amazing. There we go, we got a birdie. Look at that, brilliant. And we're starting the back nine better than we've done the whole yeah, of the first, ball, well, the front nine. There we go, birdie to start mark. the back. Yeah, looking forward to the main event starting. Getting back into it in CCG. The wind on this hole, left to right. Hopefully get promoted or something this, um, this season again. Keep going with that. Um, 165. Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, we'll find out. We'll see. Hit this a bit slow, which with the wind has really pulled that to the right there. That'll do for the approach. And from 38 feet. A good putt. Close, oh. but pacey. All right for the par. Decent effort all round. And it's a par again. Under par. And one under for the round. But yeah, such a different round, this one. But yeah, happy with how it's going. I mean, I've hit, I haven't hit perfect trust and I haven't read the wind very well. This one. this one here, I don't really know where to aim this. Oh, effortlessly done. Nice swing. That went really right, actually. That's going to work. Which I know my swing path is slightly right. Good. The swing path means more okay, well with done, the wind than the fast does. I'm not sure. Because I've already hit it slightly in that direction. It sort of gets picked up by the wind and dragged over there maybe a bit more. There you go. Two under through 12. Let's see how this one goes. Par 3. Okay, I'm going to just keep this as it is. Really oh, your hit that to the left. Uh, left. And here's our second shot on the 13th. Hope it rolls quite close, this one. Ooh, nicely done on the chip shot. Okay, decent again and another par. Sitting at 18. Oh, there you go, there's a cow there in the background. So it's nice to see one of those. I don't know, I don't know why I say that. Yeah, like, I don't know how it got onto the island, though. I guess cows right, can swim, can I imagine so. I'm not a farmer, I don't know if you can tell. Um, 11 down here, so 100 and... 25, oh, sorry, 225 is what the target amount is, okay. We're going to go with a free iron. Fast again, but this time that might work out, oh no. I was too optimistic. Good luck on your second shot here on the 14th. Wasn't the best shot. Decided to go with a flop shot again. One six feet away. Chip would have been the more obvious choice. This putt's good so far. Oh well, well we got a we got nice a car out of it. Played. And yeah, very currently very par heavy round this one. Two under though, back nine and in total for this round. So two under through fourteen. Wind is blowing left to right on this one. Oof. There we go, so 77 feet down, which is 25, 26. Okay, so 181 yards. Okay, 181, uh, 156, which is here. Get rid of this and add quite a lot of lofts to this. The shot I would have wanted to hit the distance isn't good enough, unfortunately. Yeah, you'll take that. All right, this is for the bird. Oh, it That's could a be. pretty good. Oh, just oh, a little bit too slow. Was... They are slow greens or medium green. greens, but they feel very slow. The very end. Good stuff out there, though. Okay. Okay. Decent though. Sitting there at eighteen under at this stage. Par. I'd be happy with in a normal good tournament. Here on the sixteenth. Definitely. Well, so, 170. With the wind pulling it. Added a bit more loft. I've accidentally hit it too left again. Well, Need more of these bowls so that it rolls so into the hole and I get the hole in one. Up. Get some of my score back. Oh, 
Oof, no. Just, just That's not a good putt. It's way too pacey, okay. and I think I might get a, bo a bogey from this now. No, no, good enough. Okay, just about su survived that one, because that was not a good putt beforehand. Basically had the same putt twice, I hit it that poorly. Um, we've got a goat in the background, I believe that's a goat. Looks like one. All right, best of luck here on number 17. Okay. Let's go to the sandwich and hope this is enough distance. Did it fast and 101%. So this is looking pretty good. Nice, that. Yeah, good shot. Was the club. And there we go. We got a birdie. That's for birdie. I haven't mentioned in the background there's that kraken attacking the ship, which this is called kraken something. This course, so of course that's probably where it gets its name from, I'd imagine. But yeah, three under this round. This hole, we got a tailwind to deal with. This is a tricky place to put this. Is it fast? It's looking pretty good. Oh yes. Look at that. Feet left. And you have okay, brilliant. And there's a birdie to finish off on. Honestly, pretty happy with the result there. I know it's nowhere near as good as the first round, but the pin set made that different. And also the just the conditions. Faster greens, well, slower greens even, and then soft. Yeah, and you can see a lot of people, the scores were nowhere near as impressive on that one. The best score was, looks like 15 under from Stive, so that's lower than my first round. So, yeah, clearly this round is a lot harder than the second, the first one. But four under, happy enough. Yeah, not a, not a bad result. I'll see you very soon for round number three. And we can find out what round number four will be. It's going to be round number one over again. But um, until next time, yeah, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.